Joining us is the once and future chairman of the Sarasota Republican Party, Joe Gruders. Congratulations. Alan, thanks so much. It's a pleasure to be here. Ten years? Yeah, can you believe it? You know, almost 25% almost of my life I've been chairman. A after this election, finally winning a seat in the floor of the House, with everything that's going on, why sign up for another term as chairman? Well, because I don't think our job is done yet. You know, these next two years are going to be critical for the state of Florida. We have a governor's race in 2018. We have three cabinet races. These races are critical to the future of our success. We want to continue to see Florida go red, and I think it's important that uh, we finish a job that we started. What do you have to do immediately? Well, I think the first thing we have to do is, you know, when you're done with the campaign, just like our counterparts, we have to go back and raise a lot of money. So we're we're making calls now, we're making visits, we probably have to raise $100,000, $150,000, we have the city races coming up. So we really have no type of break. But the good thing is, is our party is locked and loaded. We always have contributors ready. We have our four offices that are open still. So we're ready to go. Let me ask you this question. because. You're also a CPA. You have to make a living. You're now a state rep. But there is also a, a lot of speculation, which you're not denying, that uh, you're possibly up for a job in the Trump administration. So with that being out there, why was it necessary to, to run for chairman again? Well, because here's the deal. I, I am giving up my vice chairmanship of the Republican Party of Florida. I resigned my position as a Florida State Board of Trustee member. And what I thought is I didn't want to give up everything. You know, I love being chairman. I love help, helping good candidates get elected at the state, you know, local and federal level. And I just want to continue the, on the, the job that I've been doing. And I may go to D.C., maybe, maybe not. If I go to D.C., obviously, I'll have to reevaluate everything I'm doing here. But until then, I can't just uh, shut my doors down and, and think that uh, anything's going to change. i got to move on, move forward, and continue operating as a, everything is uh, normal. Just a few seconds left, but where does that stand right now? Uh, I would say that I have uh, made my intention known. If I get called, I'll, I'll, you know, if they ask me to serve in some capacity. Any particular uh, area? Uh, it, it, uh, it, there is, uh, I am aiming high, I think that, uh, uh, that, but at the end of the day, who knows what's going to happen. I mean, there's, there's a lot of positions. I'm focused on a couple. If I get picked, it'd be great. If not, I'm happy to serve in the legislature representing our area. Okay, congratulations again, Thank Joe. You. And we'll be back in just a moment with Primetime Headlines.